What's going on guys back with another video and hey, I'm doing a quick update on This damn DeFi empires look it's been a crazy launch um, It went pretty well honestly, but all honestly it went pretty well the launch went pretty smoothly I would say except for there were some misunderstandings that they did not uh, really get to put out um, like they should have in my opinion but um most of it's getting cleared up so it's not a big deal but uh from the launch we are almost at its breaking support in my opinion that's good honestly i'm mad that i had to buy so high my calculations of what was gonna happen it did happen but it didn't happen as fast as i thought and so when i repurchased I did repurchase on the downtrend, but I repurchased at like 16 cents in between 14 and 15, 16 cents. Uh, still not very bad at all, but my target goal was this 10 cent mark. And um, it did reach that, obviously, <laughs> more than once. But um, I think I'm in a good position now that I'm comfortable with that I can um, I can just kind of just chill and, and wait for more stuff to come in. So um how does it work well first of all the music is phenomenal first of all but uh what do you do well you just saw what i did once you load the game right you're gonna get to this screen it's gonna have the instructions connect your wallet you always connect your wallet first and interact with the game you might have to approve your degged your dead first before you do that you haven't done it already if you've done it once you don't have to do it again all you got to do is connect wallet hit play and now you are in the game you can use your arrows arrow keys to uh to move i wish they would make it wasd because that would be much better and you can literally go up to some characters to see what they say i usually sell many of my items but currently out of stock I did try to talk to this guy over here. He didn't say anything. He didn't say much of nothing. So, right now, that's that's really the only thing that's here in this tavern. Um, I'm over here ready to play like a whole damn game of Pokemon, man. I freaking I forgot what some other games were called on Game Boy, uh, but that's what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah, once you come in here. You can't really interact with this chest yet. Like, you can't interact with that yet. Um, you can interact with the innkeeper. And she'll say, hey, hello, Jace. What can the Adventurers Guild do for you today? Most people want to hire an adventurer. So if you want to hire an adventurer, I'm going to show you the clear way on how to do it so you do not, so you do not lose money. You will lose money if you do not do this correctly. So we're starting out. Say you want to do hire the adventures you're gonna hit enter right you're gonna see that thing that comes up and it says say whatever dag you want in there all right turn off the music for now so you can hear what the hell I'm saying so this is gonna say how much dag do you want to spend well this is where you're gonna tell how much you want to spend Spoiler alert, there's a lot of people right now that don't know what the hell the price of one adventurer costs. And it ranged from different numbers uh, from the time that I jumped in to the time there is now. So apparently the the price of, de uh, of the adventurers goes up and down. And it's based on the amount of buys and sells and the amount of um, adventurers being purchased. And the amount of withdrawals being taken out of the system will adjust it automatically adjust the price of the um automatically adjust the price of the uh, what you call it so let me see if i can actually go in i'm gonna read it to you so you kind of know they posted this today to clear up a lot of the confusion so one gold that you earn here at the top every for every one gold that you earn it's equal to one dead token um and so it's a one-to-one. -one. Basically, that's what you're earning uh, from your adventures is more dash. 
So how many adventures should I buy? You need to buy at least one. You don't have to, but you if you want to interact with the game, you need to buy at least one. And I don't know why you wouldn't with this type of game. You can go check out the white paper here. Um, what is the price of one adventure? The price is calculated. This is the kicker. The price is calculated depending on the mathematical governing system. It goes up the more people invest and goes down the more people withdraw. So the next question is, is when should you compound or when should you not compound? They say, do not try to compound an amount of gold that isn't going to be enough to hire one adventurer. You can check if it is enough by using the input. A lot of people don't understand that. So a lot of people were coming in, they're buying like maybe three to 500 doge or, or deg, deg tokens and they weren't seeing any, any adventurers. So for example, here, we're gonna find out what the price of one is right now. So let's put in 1,000 deg. You see this down here, how it says 0.68 adventurers. That means you only have 0.68 worth of deg to get an adventurer. So if you put that thousand in, you're more than likely are going to lose it more than likely you're going to lose it. Um, so let's type in 1500. Voila, there it is right there. More specifically about 1500 at this moment of the video at this selling point price point is going to get you one adventurer, right? So what's DEG looking like right now, right? Let's go check it out. Let's say we need 1500 DEG. You're looking at about half a close to half a BNB, 0.46 BNB, and um, that's about 168 bucks, people. So that's what you can look uh, forward to spending when you're buying an adventurer here. Um, that's what it's looking like it's going to cost. Once you've done that, it's going to create the transaction like normal, and then you're done. So let's say you want to compound. You're going to do the exact same thing. Do not, and this is something that they actually need to fix. As I just read over here, do not try to compound any amount that isn't going to be enough for one adventurer. I can't stress that enough. Do not just compound your shit daily like you would, like you would with one of these nodes or something else like that. Do not do that. You will lose your deck tokens. It's so serious that they're already starting to, to offer refunds to people who had been spending like... 300 doge 80 oh i got 80 reward 80 80 golden rewards i'm gonna hit compound and then it disappears and you're like well where's my gold and i think they're gonna have to really really address this extremely quickly because in my opinion no small amount whether it is a small amount or not should be wasted or should be taken away if 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 you only can compound uh, or have a choice to compound another adventurer or 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 buy or sell then they need to figure out some kind of way to at least show you um on a on a regular basis just like a price fluctuation uh, of how many deg you will need at any given point in time as soon as you come over here to click i want to hire an adventurer right Shit. yeah i don't want to spend that right <laughs> don't want to do that but what what I'm saying is, is that when you come over here, right, they need to have some type of counter or something that is attached to the price or to the, the, the whatever they call the the calculated mathematical governing system it needs to display some type of counter that says at this point you need eleven hundred, for example, deg tokens to create one adventure. And that way, you know specifically you come back in an hour and it's different you know specifically how much you you need that way you're not making that mistake of losing your deck tokens because that would really make me mad but other than that i mean this thing is you're going pretty good man you know you can withdraw your gold i've got 14 um adventurers so far and i've gotten close to about 100 gold um in about three hours and i was kind of wondering the same thing at first i was like man i should I, I would think that i would have more gold by now but again it's connected to the price so um 
uh, the, the, the price goes up when more people invest and the price goes down when more people withdraw. So, you know, that's that's just the way it is. And it's set up in a, such a way to where it almost like proofs itself. So it, it never really kind of goes under. If that makes any sense. Not one any one person can just really just game the system. Uh, I think that's what they're aiming for. Uh, some people may say, well, that makes kind of for like boring boring crypto they don't want to deal with that and that's fine too not everybody is in the crypto space to earn the exact same way so this may not be your thing at all it may not be your thing at all and if it's not go find something that is because there's plenty of stuff out there um there's plenty of crypto out there that's 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 something for everybody so it's got something for everybody so hopefully looking forward to um That'd be kind of cool if you can actually see your adventurers like walking around and, and eating and things like that. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, that that that's pretty much it, man. I mean, it is it is going. It, the, the price came down to where about where I thought around 10 cents. People were telling me in the uh, telegram and stuff um, that I was crazy, that it, what that was never going to happen. And uh, I don't know, man, I just kind of have like a little intuition about about uh, crypto sometimes and you know sometimes I have bad intuition and I make terrible mistakes uh, not very often but I have made them and sometimes I do make them you know so you know it, it's a game that you can't really predict too well but I, I try you know I peg myself in trying to have a, a, a decent um, amount of discernment when it comes to some of these projects and this is did has done exactly what I thought it was going to do. And uh, honestly, I think this is probably probably best time to get in, man. I don't think that you're going to see this DEG token under a dollar for very long. And I did say in the beginning, I said, I don't know if this token is going to hit a dollar the same day, the first week. I don't even think it's going to hit a dollar the first week. I said, it, it, to me, it's a long-term play, like Fisherman Joe. You know, we'll see what happens in the next seven days and then we'll go from there and see how that happens. But I think this is going to make people a lot of money. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what your strategies are, what you're doing, how you're taking this. If you're in the Discord, please go to the Discord. This is where all the info is at. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.